Hello and welcome to Mythical Meeples. Today we'll be unboxing One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak. One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak, which I will refer to from now on as Daybreak, is a deduction game for three to seven people. It can take around 10 minutes to play and can be suitable for the ages of eight plus. It can also be combined with the original One Night Ultimate Werewolf so that you can play with up to 10 players. Within Daybreak, we get 11 unique rolls on thick tiles, 11 roll tokens, six artifact tokens, two shield tokens, a getting started guide, and a rule book with detailed roll descriptions. So let's look inside the box. So here you've got the instruction booklet, getting started guide. This gives you a brief description description of the game um, and then it's also got a first game set up should you wish to play with these roles for the first time uh, so for those of you who've never played One Night Ultimate Werewolf before there's two phases of the game there is a night phase and a day phase in the night phase people take it in turns to go through each of their roles um, some roles do nothing during the night stage and then during the day phase players vote on who they think are the werewolves and then depending on the outcome of the votes determines on who wins. So in this we get Sentinel, Alpha Wolf, Mystic Wolf, Apprentice Seer, Paranormal Investigator, A Witch, Village Idiot, Revealer, Curator, Dream Wolf and Bodyguard. You also get role tokens associated with each of these roles. Additionally, we also have a few other tokens which relate to each of the different roles. And then you have the instruction booklet here, which teaches you all about the different roles. So the Sentinel gets a shield token. The artifacts come into various effects with the curator. And then you have rules for adding the doppelganger to Daybreak as well. Uh, there's also rules for playing with more than 10 players as well, should you wish to uh, take it to more than 10. Um, but it does recommend just splitting into two groups here. And then there's also a few fun scenarios which give you a suggestion of different roles to play with. So here we have the tokens. So they do, in theory, come in this little card sheet. Um, as you can see, mine have popped out on the way. So they just pop in there. But they're quite easy to push back in and push out. So when you're not playing, you can put these back in, should you wish. Or you can just get rid of the card cutouts completely. So you've got a sheet of tokens, which contains all the different roles. These are the curator's artifacts. You've got an apprentice seer, a sentinel, a witch. You've got... Alpha Wolf, Mystic Wolf, and Dream Wolf. You've got your shield tokens for the Sentinel. You've got the Paranormal Investigator, Curator, and Revealer as well. So here you can see all of the roles and the role tokens pushed together um, just to see all the different artwork. So they've done a really good job on the artwork, making all of the characters unique and look different. Even the different wolves, uh, they're all very, very different and don't look the same, which helps keep players different and able to identify who they are more easily. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. This helps me grow, helps me be seen helps more people get to watch my videos as well. 
and see my content. If you also want to support me, you can become a member of Mythical Meeples, where you get access to extra content, sneak peeks and behind the scenes. Alternatively, you can become a patron as well. There'll be links below for you to click on. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.